Hi, welcome to Bad Movie Reviews. You, again. I'm Tom. Did you follow me here? Are elves always so cynical? Relentlessly, these are dark times. You should come with me then. Last Christmas is a romantic comedy directed by Paul Feig that presents itself as a classic love story while busily rearranging its crucial bits. It does this with a big twist embedded in a lot of cutesy chatter, truckloads of plot, many feelings and even more life lessons. The twist is clever enough, though much depends on whether you see it coming. Whether you do or not, it is a steep price to pay for a movie that advocates tolerance, community, and other features yet views its audience members as a barbarians in need of regular schooling. That's a drag because there's some talent here, beginning with Emma Thompson who has a supporting role and also co-wrote the script for this movie. Thompson is probably responsible for some of the snappier lines and perhaps the sermonizing too. But it's hard to know who to blame for the forced and discordant scenes, or the mood-killing casting of Emilia Clarke and Henry Golding as their romantic leads. The actors look good together, but her character's perkiness and his character's sincerity actually cancel each other out. Clarke plays Kate, a singer and aspiring musical performer, living and scarcely struggling in London. She has a silly job in a Christmas shop where, dressed as an elf, she spars with the owner, a woman who calls herself Santa and is played by Michelle Yeoh. Eventually, Kate meets her designated one, Tom, played by Golding, a bland smiler who swoops in on a bicycle instead of a white horse and despite a regular disappearing act, more or less serves a familiar princely function. Fig is a capable director of comedy and he gives Last Christmas some funny moments. But he is hindered by the romance and the gimmick. The pairing of Clark and Golding also proves an impossible hurdle, making even the seemingly simplest moments, for example like an intimate walk or a heartfelt talk, feel forced and unnatural. After a while, particularly when Tom flows off, you start to wonder why the filmmakers even bothered with a romance when all the best stuff, including scenes at the homeless shelter, happens without Tom. Kate is lovely, loved, talented, and alive, but strangely, she seems to have so little going for her. Maybe next time the movie should show her learn all her lessons without the need of such an unconvincing set of characters and a rather weak script.